Recently we've received a video for a remix I did and this guy's from Perth, his name is Tay and he did this whole video um, for one of my remixes and it's like a really great amazing video. Did it for free, just thought it'd be cool. Sent it in to the label and we just made it the official video straight away. I basically reworked a piece from a band I used to be in, and that was the first track I ever made with that kind of sound to it. I um, entered it in a competition and got signed from that, and then that was about a year and a half ago. Now we've got a remix comp for me now, which is pretty crazy. <laughs> Sleepless was never like a big song and it never went bang, but what it's actually done is it's been like a real slow burner and it's like slowly, slowly got more attention and more attention and more people find out about it gradually. This should be really cool. I'm actually super excited to see what people come up with, like what kind of direction they take with the stems. It really like nurtures creativity, I guess you could say. A lot of my time I'll spend just like mucking around with samples and just doing kind of weird stuff that I guess you shouldn't really do like technically. But um, Ableton just is a really good platform for that. I find it's really important to push ideas out fast while you've got that creative energy. I don't bother labeling anything because I like to work so quickly. I have the sounds in special places. I mean, I'll always, always, the kick drum will be the number one sound. My default setup here is I've got the 10 audio tracks up here, 10 simplers here. I use simpler heaps because I like to be able to see each individual hit. I use drum racks um, but only for like shakers, so if I've got like, I want to do some shakers which is like two or three sounds. For me the big challenges in making music are generally not the creative side or the technical side. I feel the biggest challenges in making music is the kind of mental side, like being in the right mental space and knowing how to get there as a producer. Generally when I'm working on a um, production, these days I'll kind of almost gear the production a bit towards being ready to play out live. Um, now that I'm playing live more and more and more, it's, it's kind of, I kind of, I guess when I work in the studio, I think about that um, consciously. I'll have some sections of the track which I'll, I'll leave blank and I'll use my launch pad to play these parts in. I also have all the sections kind of lined up as in like a verse, chorus, um, bridge. So I can kind of on the fly like choose how I want to structure a track because sometimes tracks go really well that don't go as well in other places. And then I can just, you know, extend it or just muck around with the structure and have a bit of fun like that. <laughs> 